Hello, in this video, I will try to answer questions that I receive quite a bit often about people, what applications should I use? Uh, what's different and what I needed for my workflow or creating my animation or a thing. So we'll go a look on some of this and we will focusing on the environmental application, application that help you to create landscapes. Doesn't matter you're creating for the games, you're creating for um, 3D render, for animations, for movie. Uh, overall, we'll look kind of on them and try to go over. First thing said, a lot of confusions happen about what application does what. So let's separate them on four categories I want to do. The one category, like for example, um, Cinema 4D, Maya, Max, uh, Blender. This is a full package tools. It's meaning they have it inside modeling tool, so you can model and create it. They have it inside um, landscape as part of the modeling tool. You can create, populate with multiple plants if you need it, create atmospheric effect, volumetric clouds, all this stuff, and you can render. So you can start from beginning and you can end up. And many of them also included texturing as well as a part of this. Beside many of them have additional plugins that you can uh, put it on and use it. So this is one of the category of them. The second category, it is more specialized like a Eon software, a VU or a Terragen. Um, and now a new one, World Creator, start kind of, kind of coming up, but mostly this, we will focus on two of those, one Terrigen and Vu in this video. This one, it provides very simple modeling tool. For example, in a Vu, you have it very primitive. So you have it primitive, so you can create it, and you can adjust Berlin, so you cannot really sculpt. Um, or you can create more complex models. Even I saw some people does with Berlin incredible things inside the VU. However, that is a not modeling tool. This is a tool that can create generate terrains and it does very well on this. It's what focus the tool. It does have an editor and modeling tool for the terrain. So you can actually create a terrain and it can modify shape, sculpting kind of, in some ways maybe resemble some people like a ZBrush type, but only the for terrain. And what is a big plus about this application, it is very realistic render. So Terragen and we both is focusing on creating realistic environmental renders for animations or for other ones. So they have it render engines inside the building. These applications also work as a plugins with many other ones. Vu working with, for example, Maya Max Cinema 4D, they have plugins that you can use it. Vu environment inside the Cinema 4D for the terrains or plants or other things. But separate from that, it is other category that is tool that is and render for the terrains and everything created. Third category we have it. It is more to create terrains itself. It does not necessarily provide rendering, just provide for our maps. And for example, the world machine, we'll use this as an example. It's very nice tool. It does unbelievable result with the erosions and other effects. And I used most time, but in the end, all what it does, it will provide for us the gray map. And the problem with this, to understand because it is 2D map, it does not provide us overhanging cliffs or a caves if you need anything because this is only in 2D with a darker color representing lower altitude and a brighter higher altitude. It's all what it does, it provides for us this height. Um, also, many of these applications like a world machine or other ones, they will also create uh, maps, color maps, flow maps, and other ones, you can use it. The World Machine is excellent tool if you want just create a terrain and import that terrain you created or render terrain inside the, um, like a Unreal Engine. However, keep in your mind that, again, you will have some limitation and the World Machine is a procedural it's not modeling tool. Again, it's, you cannot really model in this one. 
that whatever you created, it will creating from fractals, from music, um, different generators. And uh, terrain that you export, okay, let's go look on the terrain. For example, like right here, it, this is what you will have it. If you modify terrain, it's this you cannot sculpt and notice it's no overhanging cliff or other things. So again, um, the other category I want to look how I say four different categories. Um, one, it is more specialized in a kind of more popular now become it is game engine. For example, Unreal Engine or Unity, they have it inside of them many terrain modeling tools and also new for example 4.25 unreal engine have it nice volumetric clouds have it all this other additional atmos unbelievable atmospheres everything plants interactions and other stuff so this is some other ones if you interested and many things now start using those gaming engines actually to render part of the cg for the movie as an example a tv show um, Mandalorian, I think, the Star Wars, where they was using Unreal Engine to real-time render backgrounds there as a scenery. Of course, it was a limitation, how many polygons, it was a limitation, if you notice a render without plants, it was another thing, was, and so and so on. It's a limitation, how many polygons can be used in this. Okay, so this is overview. Now, let's go look a little bit closer on some of these applications. Personally, my workflow i'm using world machine many times to create um initial terrain layout and it's worked very well because it will provide for me nice erosion nice maps and i have it multiple tutorials you can look on them how to use world machine so we won't focus on this but this is one tool that i'm using to create a map they have it many other similar tools that um for example the guy and other ones from the and it's a very nice tool. Many people like it. Um, they also new tool coming up with this terrain and landscape generating the world creator. Um, I, they have it engines. I do not really work that much with this application yet. It's on my plan to do this and go over this. I did create, I think, early versions. I work with this, but not with the latest one. So this is another application and it's have its strong moments. But I will say from environmental, um, beside the map, environmental one, render and everything, we have a two uh, big ones. It is Terrigen and Avu. And those two applications, I have it comparison side-by-side -side videos if you want to look. Overall, I will say Vu is more orientated on the, towards the artists. So the, you don't need it, um, no lot of nodes. You can kind of just almost sculpting can go around this. Um, with a Turgen, it's a heavy node based. And for example, in a VU, I can adjust some stuff and um, working with polygons. Turgen, it's a basic lot of things shape based on the displacement. So it's a little bit harder, but on a bright side, you have it way less polygons, so it's render faster and it's a little bit lighter footprint on your system when you start using. It's cannot tell which one is good because they both have it plus and minus. It's more what is fit your workflow, what is a fit your personality, which one you want to use it. Um, I will say, um, check my videos. I will put a link down in the description where I compare the applications. So it's give you a little bit more on what is inside, how they work. So you can see which one of them working. And of course, the third one, how I said before, we look on the Cinema 4D um, Blender, Max Maya. This is up to you, up to your environment, what you're more familiar. Um, I did model uh, many models. You can actually see them was on kind of copy and other ones that was done in Cinema 4D or in uh, actually Hexagon, just modeling tool without no render. And a new tool actually getting, um, after the new redesign and everything, it is Blender. And um, I did start work with Blender a little bit, and it is very nice. The new versions, I mean, UI redone, mapping of the key redone, and it's very nice, very pleasant to work with tools. So I do actually prepare some videos about Blender, and we'll go over this. So this is another tool to look on. 
But again, if you start comparing the real render of realism and other things, Vu probably and Terrigen will stay way more ahead of these applications when you render um, clouds, when you render lighting, when you render all of this natural environment. So those ones, it's reason why they're ahead. But beware when using them, all realism come with a price of the rendering time. So it will take it a little bit time or sometimes a lot of time to render correct image. Of course, in this video, hopefully it's uh, answer some of your questions and I just barely scratch. It's a tons of a lot of great applications out there. They can do different things with landscapes and some of them way underrated the excellent applications, but never got word. And maybe I should do a video about this, um, going over those underrated applications, just showing. And I try to do this sometimes. I found some interesting application bring up and show people like, for example, I found recently fractal application that is a, a jaw dropping effect. So you can create and all this stuff. But again, that is out of there. But this is will probably main applications that um, I used in my workflow and I noticed other uh, professional in the same environment for the movies and other ones, they using similar kind of applications. I did not look, of course, on a compositing or modeling specific applications like ZBrush or other ones, or um, Nuke for the compositing or other ones. I especially um, kind of separate them. Mostly this video was focusing on just these applications that for your environment and on categorize. And hopefully, again, that will help you to properly um, find out more about what to use. And of course, if you have more questions, I recommend for you to check my YouTube channel. I have it over 3000 videos um, there where we're going over different environment. And if you're on a website on a, I know it's a lot of videos, so please just go to playlist and right here in a playlist, you can find a um, lot of, I try to categorize group them, but you can find about Vu, Terragen, World Machine, um, all these different types. Hopefully it will help as well. You can find uh, a comparison between all of these different applications and more in depth. Hopefully they will help you with this one. Also, uh, more tutorials and videos available if you're going inside the Geek at Play studio. It's a geekatplay.com. And right here, for example, if you're going in a boot tutorials, I have a lot of tutorials, many of them, um, you can watch for free so you just go down and you can watch them there on on youtube uh, they're going in depth of locations how to create different sceneries all the stuff work with different engines um of course if you purchase you help support my work and if you like to support i appreciate if you can go on the patreon it's geek at play and you can um become patron to support it just overall all patreon have access to like over three four gigabyte of my video tutorials downloaded and other tiers have access to all models. Again, it's another three gigabyte of models. You can use it in uh, all your environments, render royalty free. So just overall, if you want to support, I appreciate this, but please be sure to check these videos on a YouTube channel to more in details about applications and how they work. Again, this video just overview, just to help you help you sort out what applications, what they do, and uh, to decide definitely what you need to um, use it, it is need more look in depth. And don't hesitate, if you need it, please contact me, send me email, post it, and I will try to reply your help with your um, decisions, or if you have more questions, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you again for watching this video, and have a great time.